Good day everyone, I am Dr. Gomez Chua and today we will be discussing an important first aid um, skill which is how to bandage or split an injury. So why is this done? We bandage, splint, or immobilize injuries, especially sprains, strains, and fractures, so that we can help support the patient and prevent further damage or injury to the affected part. So bandaging or splinting properly provides some support and makes sure that broken bones or hurt ligaments will not be inflamed, especially when moving the patient from place to place. This will also help reduce complications from infection or further injury to the affected part. And lastly, this also improves patient comfort, so it makes it a bit less painful when you have to move a patient from, say, a uh, ground to the wheelchair or wheelchair to a bed. So one important bandage tip is the figure eight bandage. So we normally see this when bandaging a strained or sprained ankle, a wrist or elbow or other limb injury. So this provides more support in simply wrapping the affected part in a upwards or downwards fashion. And the figure eight is characterized by a crisscross or figure eight pattern of wrapping the bandage around the injury. And it is best done with elastic bandages or with a very long piece of cloth. So for our demo, we will do this on an ankle since this is the most commonly sprained part. So how do you figure it bandage an ankle? So you start by holding up the bandage or holding up the ankle rather at the 90 degree angle. So you point it straight up. Make sure the toes are pointing upwards. So you begin by winding one end of bandage around the injured foot just below the base of the balls of the toes. So the balls of the toes, the lumpy part of the toes, you do that. And then you do this twice or thrice to anchor the bandage. Then you wrap the bandage diagonally downwards to support the heel upwards again. So you wrap it around the foot twice. Then you bring the bandage down towards the heel, wrap the heel, bring it up, upwards over the foot. And when you do this, the bandage from an X on top of the foot. So you keep on doing this X until you've covered the, the whole heel and the whole ankle and make sure that the, every time you bring the bandage down and up again, you form an X to the top of the foot or the leg. So you can continue wrapping this in the same way all the way up to the calf of the person. So you remember you go down, then up, make sure there's an X. Then down, up, make sure there's an X. Then when you are done, you anchor the bandage with a pin or bandage clip. So you don't just tuck it under. Um, some tips or tricks for a figure eight bandage, you have to keep it smooth and without creases because if you make if it's bumpy, it will get a bit uncomfortable after the patient's worn it for some period of time. Then make sure that it is the same tension when you wrap the bandage all throughout so it does not sag or become loose later. But you also have to make sure that it is not too tight. How do you do this? You check the person's fingers or toes in this case, like of the ankle. So you make sure that they are one to the touch and that they are not pale or discolored. If they're pale or if the person cannot feel his or her toes or fingers, it is too tight. So if the bench is too tight, you unwrap the whole thing and then do it all over again, but make sure you do it loosely this time. Then lastly, make sure that you check on the figure eight bandage every few hours for as long as the patient has to wear the bandage. You could remove it to make sure the patient takes a bath or if you have to clean the bandage again or put on a new one. So I hope this helps with your first aid and us to give it more efficiently to persons who have strains, sprains, or fractures. Thank you.